Hi guys, it's Hope and it's that time of year again, Christmas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this DIY Christmas wreath out of paint samples, so let's get started. So you're only going to need three things. You're going to need paint samples, scissors, and a hot glue gun, and a ton of extra hot glue gun sticks, because this will take a lot. So let's get to making this. The first thing I'm doing is just laying out all of my paint swatches and I'm just going to put them in color order so that it has the ombre effect. But you can obviously just do one color or two colors or whatever, but I think the ombre look looks way better. And they're all free from like Home Depot or Lowe's or just anywhere that sells paint. So basically what I'm doing is just cutting out each of them by like the single color they have. And the ones that I have, you could basically get two uses out of. Like you can cut about like two of the leafy kind of things out of one. So basically I'm just cutting it in a leaf shape, kind of like a cone I guess if that makes sense. And with each one of those, you're, all you're going to do is fold them in half, but you don't want to like fold it too much in half. You just want it to kind of have the curvy kind of effect, and that's what makes the wreath a little bit curvier is by folding them. So now on to making the actual wreath. I already put together part of it, but it's not that hard. All you do is kind of just lay them out and start hot gluing them all together. You want the hot glue to be on the backs of them so that it's not visible, and you're just gonna stick them all together basically. And I did about three or four rows across of the leafy kind of things, but you can do two, three, four, five, six, 20 billion, I don't care, whatever you wanna do. And you're just going to lay them all out and you're going to want to make it in a curve shape. So here is where I am right now. I didn't film for a while so this is basically it. And at one point I messed up with the curving kind of thing and making it a circle. I kind of made it more like a straight line so I just ripped them apart and I just put it all back together but more curvy. And it might be a lot easier if you start off with some kind of ring or something and glue them on. I was thinking like cutting up a piece of cardboard in a circular shape and then just gluing them onto the cardboard, but you can just do it by scratch like I am. Once you got to the end, I kind of ran out of paint samples, so I just kind of used the leftover ones and I kind of just make did with what I had and I just kind of pushed them to the back so you couldn't see like the double colors or anything. And yeah, so just use your paint samples and use them all up. And here is the finished product. Basically, I just put it in my colors of my room besides the green, but I just thought it was super cute and I'm in love with this. So how I decorated it with my room, I just hung it up on my wall with two signs that I bought at Target that are also the colors of my room. And Target signs are super cheap and that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching this DIY. If you guys want more DIYs, make sure to hit this video with a huge thumbs up and leave comments down below telling me some DIY ideas and of course other video request ideas. I'm always happy to be making videos for you guys. Christmas wish list will be coming soon because it's almost Christmas. This took less than three hours to make and it was super duper easy. The only thing that um, I had trouble with is making it in a full circle, like a good circular shape. But you guys could definitely back it with cardboard or something if you cut out cardboard, like a cardboard ring or something so you can make sure that it's a circle and then glue it onto that if that makes sense. But I just did it by hand and that shows that you can also do it by hand if you want. And paint swatches are free so basically it's totally free. All you have to do is have a hot glue gun and a pair of scissors. So that's all. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and thumbs up this video if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!